Hello, welcome back. In this video we're going to be building the Nova Catalyst, the Destruction Catalyst and the Nova Cataclysm. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to make is the alchemical coal. So Philosopher's Stone goes top left and then you want coal here, here and here. Now I'm going to make loads of this but it can be quite irritating to make because you have to keep putting the Philosopher's Stone back in. So I'll keep doing this for a minute and I'll see you in a mo. So now we've got this stack of alchemical coal, we can make Mobius fuel. So to make that, it's the same pattern but just using the alchemical coal. So it goes out like that. And again, I'm going to have to do it like this. So it might take a moment. So now we need to make some TNT. So just make that quickly. So like that, and then gunpowder in all the holes. There we go. So I'll have all of that. Uh, we just need... we only need two TNT. Five is fine. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take the TNT, put the TNT here, put the Mobius fuel next to it, and then you get the Nova Catalyst. So the last component that we're going to need to make is a fresh flint and steel. So we'll just put that together, and there we go. Okay, so for the destruction catalyst itself, Flint and steel goes in the middle. Mobius fuel here, 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 and here. And then the rest is Nova Catalysts. Just like that. And there it is, the Destruction Catalyst. So I've just put some stuff together so we can go and test this out. So um, I've made a bit more Mobius fuel just to fuel the Destruction Catalyst. Also got my mining backpack, thought that would come in handy. And I've made a couple more Nova Catalysts so I can show you how those work. So I'll just grab a couple of levers and then uh, we'll head down. So I'm at the bottom of one of my quarries now and we're just going to pick a level and start digging through it I think. First things first though, we need to charge the uh, destruction catalyst. So if you just press V, it'll charge it up. I'm gonna press it again so we can get a good full charge into it. So um, there you go. Let's, uh, let's find a good point to go in. So we want to go about level 15 is always the best place, but um, it's going to be a bit tricky to get from here to level 15. So we'll just start here. So all you have to do with it is just right click and boom, straight through. Now, um, just missed something there, but um, you see it drops this black ball. And that is basically everything that was in the whole of that just condensed into a little ball. The only thing is, you're going to fill up your inventory really quickly doing this. I mean, look, I'm just full of cobble and crap, and in fact, I didn't pick those up. So I'll just press shift and put all my stuff up there, and hopefully if there's anything good in that pile, it'll just swap straight over. So, let's see what else we can find. Some gold there. It's probably easier to use this with, um, with less charge in it, to be honest. And you can discharge it. What you have to do is hold down Shift and V. And that takes some of the charge out. So that will reduce the radius. So you see it doesn't go as far now. Which is a bit more usable. I'm going to just knock it down another level. So that we can do little sections. Which is much easier. I mean, if you're trying to clear out a large area. Then by all means, use the big one. But um, otherwise you're just getting loads of crap that you don't really want and you can't really just punch through an area and spot the things you want and just pick them up. Found some diamonds here. So just blast it through. Get them all out. Oh, I think I'm under the sea. I'm not too sure. <laughs> don't know. Again, I need to clear out my inventory. Just pick them up. Six. Brilliant. Keep them coming. So I've been going for quite a while and as you can see I've destroyed a lot of this area. There's quite a few things on show all around here still, which I can go around and pick up in a minute. But I'll just show you what I've got so far. Uh, most of it's in the miner's backpack, so um, as you can see I've got 11 diamonds. Got a lot of gems here. Um, one of the things to note though with the miner's backpack, it won't actually pick up the black orbs and sort it out for you and put it into your uh, put it into the backpack. So you have to do it manually, but you still get that extra space, so it's pretty useful to use it. Okay, so now I'll just give you a demonstration of the Nova Catalyst. So, I'll just put it down... I don't know, we'll put it here. Let's uh, put it right up against the wall, actually. And then we'll just put a lever down. 
Um, the explosion from this is quite big, but it's it's not too bad. There's quite a few mobs down here now. So we'll just pull back a little bit. There it goes. And uh, you get all your stuff in an orb again, which is excellent. So I'll just ditch that. I wonder if there was anything good in there. Difficult to tell at this point. Um, no, not really. But um, oh, it's uncovered quite a bit of lapis there, so that's useful. So yeah, they're pretty good as well. But uh, you probably just want to stick to the destruction catalyst, to be honest. So I'm back at the castle now, and I want to show you how to make something a little bit more interesting than the Nova Catalyst. Um, but first, I've just set something up, and I should have done this ages ago, um, to make, make all this worthwhile having, really. Um, and that is just a chest, where you can put all your stuff in, after you've been mining. And it gets pumped out of the chest by the redstone engine, and it gets pumped straight into the back of the pipeline. Uh, just through this iron pipe. And then that means, when you get back from mining, you just unload everything, and uh, it sorts it all out for you. Of course, you could take this one step further. I mean, you can make it so that all of, like, your jetpack and whatever all gets fed back into the charging bench. So now we're going to make the Nova Cataclysm. Now, we need to make some Eternalist fuel to make this work. So, Philosopher's Stone, just there. And then it's the same pattern as we've done before, but this time with the Mobius fuel. And there it is, the Eternalist fuel. So now we need to take a Nova Catalyst, so I've got one just here, and then we put the Eternalist fuel next to it, and there is the Nova Cataclysm. So, let's go and test that out. So I'm back down at the bottom of the quarry now, and uh, we're ready to test this Nova Cataclysm. So I've cut a little bit out here, I'm just going to put it at the end, and uh, put the lever by it. Hopefully that'll be far enough away. So uh, we'll soon see, won't we? So let's flick the switch. Let's see what happens. Whoa! <laughs> so, pretty big explosion. Um, one thing to note as well, all the stuff lands wherever you are. So that's the uh, all the resources from there. So, pretty easy way to mine when you don't have to actually go and pick everything up because it lands right next to you. So that's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.